Welcome back to my channel. This is Executed TV. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this amazing textured Spider-Man 2099 helmet. Uh, this file can be found over at Nico Industries. I will link that in the description below. Uh, let's get started. First things first, we need to find that perfect Spider-Man 2099 file. And I know just where to go. Nico Industries. This guy's got everything. Now, believe it or not, I'm actually gonna print this on my Ender 3 Pro. It is a much smaller printer, but this print is two pieces. So I started off with the front piece, as you can see in the, the video here. And um, what I ended up doing though, is bumping up the quality to dynamic quality in the uh, Kira profile here, as you can see. The only settings I adjusted here was the infill pattern, which I went and switched to gyroid. Um, I switched the infill to 8%. The original dynamic quality, I think it wanted like 20% or 15%, something crazy like that. And I also bumped down the raft margin to a 3% uh, raft margin. Once these settings were applied, it was ready to start printing. And uh, this thing came out absolutely gorgeous. My plan was to print this helmet out in a blue filament, so I decided to go with Elegoo Blue, and I must say, their filament's really good. Once the print was finished, it was time to sand the red spider on the front of the mask here. So what I ended up doing here was starting off with an 80 grit sandpaper, uh, then jumped to a 220 grit, and then I finished off with a 400 grit sandpaper just to get it rough enough to apply my red acrylic uh, hand paint here. And if you're wondering, yes, this is a very tedious project to do uh, with sanding the spider on the helmet because I did not want to sand the actual texture of the helmet because that will obviously take away from the detailed illusion of the texture. Now it's time to apply the Apple Barrel Acrylic Red Hand Paint. This actually came out much better than I expected, to be honest with you. I think mainly because I did take some time doing the sanding and going over uh, the sanding multiple times to uh, make sure that the paint is applied properly. And I did give this about three coats of the uh, acrylic red here, which you can start to see it's really starting to take form. And this helmet is actually coming to life. And here it is. I honestly cannot thank my Ender 3 Pro enough for making this a reality. I honestly didn't had I honestly had very low hopes when it came to my Ender 3 Pro, but once you bump those settings up through Cure, it makes a whole lot of difference, as you can tell. Uh, only bad thing about this, which I it could be my fault, is the back piece doesn't really line up with the front piece, as you can see in this this uh, video here. But uh, I am gonna print another one and see if it was my issue or it was the file, not sure, but all in all, amazing file.